These locks looking definitely bongoed. Sick. Peace fam. Loving the way how this locks, these locks are forming. You can definitely see the tears in the journey, the different stages, the beginning buds that have congled up into a bigger lock, now growing out into a flat. Loving the way these look. Almost three years now, what do you think? Yeah, Devin, Devin looking fire. The style is suiting you. The ice blue tips. Finally getting to that shoulder length. Hope everyone's having a blessed day. Much love. Yeah, shoulder length locks looking fantastic. Crazy. Yeah, they're looking really cool. Still got a lot of loose and frizzy hair, but then a lot of locks have really congoed up and matured already, flattened out. I think it's looking sick. After I separated my locks and before I had to do it, don't often, don't often, if it's a problem, I will. I keep them super thick. If I don't separate now, it will be too late. Don't let your hair control you. It holds a powerful energy, but it does not control your life. The nation. Almost two years. Whoa, he's looking crazy. Looking really cool. These are when they're in their wet form. Clearly, water helps out with the locking process immensely. Loving to see how these are coming together. And he's still in the early stages, even though he's two years in. He's got a lot of different experiences to go through on this journey. As they mature, as they lengthen. The afro stage is coming in quite nicely. And I like that he's got like a bunch of little locks attached to what is becoming bigger locks. The dreadfro emancipating himself from mental slavery sick definitely made some progress it looks like your hair your locks have condensed a bunch over the last two years and it's setting you up to get some mad length coming in real soon no twisted just freeform natties yeah those looking massive Are those high topped? Look like they're high topped a bit. He's got the back of his neck shaved up. Fire! Whoa! These are definitely manipulated locks. These are the crocheted flats that you've been seeing popping up these days. And I can tell, I can tell because honestly a lot of this hair is broken. I can see it's, it's been the breakage from the crochet hook. Also the shedding on his shirt. I am still intrigued to see where these go in the future. How they mature in the long run. One year and eight months journey. Starting with that curly fro. Tight curls. Definitely would be enhanced with the cold water washing. No brushing. Now we can start to see how his locks are starting to mature come together kind of secure their places on his head and this is just the first stage because now they're gonna start to congo up and bring in some bigger locks I feel like he's got a perfect curl pattern for freeform locks and I really like the way that some of these locks some of these curls aren't locking up so quick makes uh, for a very intriguing look now we start to really see the different shape in the fro that's forming in. Is that his locks are actually starting to flatten out. And it looks like they're starting to go into like two really big locks. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, those look sick. Yeah, great job on that journey. 12 wicks. Crazy. 
having very little locks on your head. 12 is a good number. So big up. Two years and one month, finally able to do a low ponytail. Sick. Definitely a milestone. Loving the curly ends on these locks as well. 16 month semi free form. Started with two strand twist and let it do its own thing. Sick. And, and they're green locks too. Loving that look. It's not very often you see people rocking green in their locks. Two strand twist just left to free form straight up after. Damn. Nine years of growth. I'll soon be separating this massive Congo into four to six segments. The lock isn't aerial bound as it appears in the photo. It falls down on the left side of my back. This was just a dramatic display of the volume it contains. Sick. That's wild. Imagine it was defying gravity like this. That would be cool. And eventually they will be separated. Hit us up with an update fam when you get those locks separated. Loving the look. Free foreman since my ninth grade. I'm a senior now. Love the journey. Taught me how to be patient. How to love myself. Never cutting these locks off. The journey taught me so many things. I respect that you were able to freeform all through high school. I don't think I knew a single person in my time that was freeforming in high school. Even very few people with locks, to be honest. These looking mad dope. I'm loving where you've came from. These are looking sick. Great job with the orange dye as well. Loving that look. I see a difference. Definitely see a difference. They've gotten a lot longer. Less frizzy hair. And it seems like they've straightened themselves out quite naturally as well. Yo, big up. Dread fro stage before they start to drop. Another classic dread fro with those curlies. Crazy. I love this stage of dreadlocks. It was the most fun in my experience. Four years and still moving. Looking like they're flat. Congos. Four years in. Still got a long way to go. I'm liking these little hand locks going on at the bottom here. Those are sick. What? Loving that look. Crazy, man. I think that's it for today. Sorry, oh, one more. Our engineer, Cape Town. Eventually got it right to tie my freeform locks at the back of my head. Sick. Getting there. Length is growing. And he's got some ganja trees growing in the background. That's blessed. Yeah, I'm gonna call it quits for today. My throat is actually kind of itchy today, so I'm not really trying to expend too much energy on this, but I wanted to get something out to y'all. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, one love. Stay happy and natty, my friends.